Welcome, and my name is Anthony James, founder and CEO of LinuxAcademy.com, and I wanna share with you um, really a journey I'm on. It's a personal project that I started, and I just wanna tell you a little bit about it, and also let you be able to follow along if you want as well. So I've been really wanting to get into Kubernetes lately. I've done a lot of Docker, a lot of ECS. I haven't done a lot of Kubernetes, and so one way for me to do that is, what I've done is, check this out, this is pretty cool. I've ordered a uh, seven Raspberry Pis and a cluster case. So if you can kind of look at it here, it's a Raspberry Pi cluster. And my goal is to use this to simulate a bare metal or on-premises environment and install a Kubernetes cluster on this. Now, I don't know much about Kubernetes right now. So the way that I'm learning is I'm using Will Boyd's course on linuxacademy.com called Kubernetes the hard way. It follows along a lot of what Kelsey Hightower did on his GitHub open source project for Kubernetes the hard way. We loved it so much, we took it, we applied it to our hands on labs and we set up videos around it. And you can actually follow along on our cloud playground inside of those virtual machines. And in fact, that's what I'm doing is I'm setting up the cluster there with a load balancer. And I haven't even tried this yet, so I don't even know if it's gonna work, but my goal is to actually load balance from the cluster here. I have a demo application built by some of our developers at Linux Academy, and I wanna load balance it here to the linuxacademy.com cloud playground Kubernetes cluster I'm setting up as part of the Kubernetes the hard way course. Now, when I'm done with that, my goal is to then load balance this to a cloud provider, something like AWS, for example. So if you don't know much about Kubernetes, it's really, really impactful for multiple reasons. It's orchestration of containers. Now, why containers are great is because you can package the code, the libraries, the binaries, everything you need to run your application in a single container. Once you have that container, you can have it on development machines, you can drop it on an on-premises environment, you can send it over to Google Cloud or Azure Cloud or AWS Cloud. The container runs the same no matter what cloud provider it's on, so you don't have any type of vendor lock-in. It's great for cloud migration if you wanna migrate your on-premises environment to the cloud. You might wanna containerize it first and then send it up there. It's great for disaster recovery. It's a, it's a fantastic standard and it's just a game changer changer for the industry. You know, it's one reason that Kubernetes and containers is different than serverless is you can package it and send it wherever you want regardless because Kubernetes is a standard across all of those vendors. So really excited to kind of walk you through this. If you want to follow along and build your own Raspberry Pi Kubernetes cluster and do exactly what I'm doing, the links to what I use to purchase this and all the details are inside of this video description. So just go ahead and check it out and you can purchase it and follow along. Make sure you hit the subscribe button button because I'm going to send updates on my progress and hopefully show what is done at the end as the end result or talk about any changes I had to make based off of what I was trying to do and why I might had to adopt to those changes. So I look forward to sharing this journey with you. Make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you on the next video about Kubernetes on the Raspberry Pi.